fame, glamour, perfection. What if you could find it all at the tip of a needle? Here at the Lucas Clinic, we strive to bring you closer to celebrity than ever before. With samples drawn directly from the source, you can be connected in ways you never imagined. Do you not agree that the mania surrounding celebrity is reaching an unhealthy level? No, I don't. My clients want to feel more connected to those people that they see in the magazines and on television. Uh, enjoy. So far, I've had all her diseases. <laughs> Must have been expensive. Uh, is there any way you can spread it? Uh, <laughs> what happened to Hannah, guys? It's pretty shocking. Bleeding. From your mouth. I don't understand how this isn't considered cannibalism. <laughs> you become involved in something sinister. Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My second review today is Antiviral in 2012. Here's the storyline. After becoming infected with the virus that killed superstar Hannah Geist, Sid March must unravel the mystery surrounding her death to save his own life. Directed by Brandon Cronenberg. Written by Brandon Cronenberg. Released November 30th, 2012. Tagline, what if you could feel like they do? Here's the cast. Caleb Landry Jones as Sid March. Sarah Gayden as Hannah Geist. Malcolm McDowell as Dr. Andenroth. Douglas Smith as Edward Porras. Joe Pingu as Arvid. Nicholas Campbell as Dorian. Now here's a film that David Cronenberg fans would be interested in and so forth because it's his son, Brandon. Wow. Um, this movie is weird. Confusing. Now, when I say confusing, I don't mean that I'm stupid. I understand what I'm seeing, but I really couldn't get into it. I'll say this, though. This movie makes you want to see it the whole way through to find out what the ending is. It's well acted, well shot, an interesting storyline at most. I mean, off the wall. You have... This company that provides this type of virus to make the person feel like the celebrity. To be like the celebrity, if I'm saying it correctly. I don't know. Um, I really could not get into this film. But like again, it made me want to see it the whole way to the end. I don't have words to express how I feel about this film. It's not bad. You know, it's just... You really have to get into this style of movie, which I'm not. I mean, I don't want to sit and watch a movie and try to be Einstein to keep up what's going on, this and that, that and this. You have this skin graph, whatever the hell it is. It's like a food that they name celebrities after. It's just really off the wall weird. And I think that's what kept me watching this film because it's so damn demented and weird. But that's it. I mean, I can't say any more than that. If you haven't seen it, and you're a David Cronenberg fan, and Brandon Cronenberg fan, you'll like this film. That's all i got to say. I mean, I'm not slamming it. It's just not my cup of tea. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review. I give this film a 5.5 out of 10. Slightly above average, only because when I was watching it, I had to see the ending. And the ending is totally off-the-wall, weird uh, political statement, per se. It's just flat-out strange. This is Gruesome Herzog's Harmony Review, and I'm out of here.